Okay. Can you hear me now? <laughs> well, good evening, everybody, and welcome to the 45th annual Bell Fountain City Schools Fine Arts Festival. My name is Larry Walker, and I have the honor to serve as your master of ceremony for this annual event of visual and performing arts. Thanks to my former student, Meg Young, who I will get back at later. I was a band director in the Bell Fountain City Schools for uh, 30 years. I was in my... I was in my second year of teaching when we started the Fine Arts Festival with my awesome mentors and colleagues, Darius Green, Gary Caldwell, and Chuck Krautwater. And I can't imagine how many thousands of kids have gone through this. How many in the audience have participated in this? Raise your hand. Great. Before you this evening, you will see many Bell Fountain City School students, grades 6 through 12, who have dedicated countless hours of practice over the past year, improving their skills, as well as preparing for this evening's program. But their preparation for this program did not start a few months ago. It started when they were in elementary school with their amazing elementary teachers and in fourth and fifth grade for the instrumentalists who came home to play for you those kind of musical notes the first day. We would like to extend our appreciation to our many art and music educators as they provide not only quality instruction, but the necessary motivation for our students to reach their artistic and musical goals. So at this time, let's show our appreciation to the teachers and students for their dedication with a huge round of applause. We would like to extend a thank you to all of you in attendance this evening and to those supporters who are watching our local school channel, WBCS. We are grateful to our supportive community and are excited that you have joined us this evening. So, how many of you brought one of these today? Could you get that out for me, please? Now, will you please silence that because anybody's phone that goes off has to come down here, sing a solo, and dance. <laughs> also, remember, the people sitting around you are also here to listen to their child, so show that respect, please. And we thank you for your cooperation. Well, let's get on with the show. First to perform is the sixth and seventh grade bands under the direction of Megan Young. Tonight, the sixth and seventh grade bands will entertain you with two classic rock hits. The first is Funky Town, made famous by the band Lip Syncs in 1979. <laughs> Second is Any, Any Way You Want It by Steve Perry and the classic rock band Journey and it's top of the charts in 1981. Feel free to rock along with us as we celebrate another wonderful year of music making at BMS. The stage is yours, Mrs. Young. Thank you. 
not already done so please visit the atrium out there after the show to view outstanding displays of works created by middle school and high school art and technology students I'm certain you'll be impressed we're gonna throughout the night present some art awards but before that I would like to recognize the art and technology teachers Sandy Winter Katina Elwood Aaron Greger and Melanie Antrim Ingram you give them a big round of applause. <laughs> the first set of awards is for 2D art at the advanced level. Third place goes to Katie Mabry. Second place to Paige Judd. First place to Abby Godwin. Honorable mention is Adam Smith, Rain Rockledge, Kirsten Diener, and Sharice Brinkman. <laughs> 2D Art Level 1. 
Third place is Dylan Bruchaber. Second place, Amy Preston. First place, Mark Moreno. And honorable mention goes to Aubrey Yoder, Lacey Smith, Rebecca Wampler, and Deshay Rogan. Our next group is the combined 6th, 7th, and 8th grade choirs. The middle school choirs have had a success, success, successful year with three concerts in which a variety of genres were shared with the audiences. Last week, our 8th grade choir traveled to Green Hills Retirement Community to perform for residents. Early in the year, all three choirs were able to honor local veterans in our school's ceremony. Tonight, they combined once again to bring you two contemporary selections. Their first selection, titled Fly, was first released by Maddie and Tay, an American female country music duo, and is an inspirational anthem about finding success even after being knocked down time after time. The choir will close with Under One Sky, written and recorded by the tenors, a talented trio originally from Canada, with a message of unity across the world. Choreographed by eighth grade students Madison DeLong and Gracie Middaw, accompanied by Hunter Karg, Derek Robb, Leslie Steiner, and directed by Stacy Calton, please turn your attention to the Belfont Middle School Combined Choirs.
Okay, some more art awards. This is for 3D art at the advanced level. Third place is Naya Yemsvat. Second place, Jessica Bruchaber. First place, Adam Smith. And honorable mention, Davina Caudill, Mercedes Brown, Quentin Myers, Brandy Hammond. Next we have the middle school orchestra. The middle school orchestra is a, com is a combined 6th, 7th, and 8th grade group. The 7th and 8th grade orchestra competed at the Ohio Music Education Association District 10 large group contest and received a superior rating for the second year in a row. The two selections they are presenting tonight are See You Again from the movie Furious 7 and Can't Stop the Feeling, made famous by Justin Timberlake and featured in the movie Trolls. The middle school orchestra is under the direction of Laura Mitchell.
Next, we have the eighth grade band, also directed by Megan Young. Congratulations to this year's eighth grade band, who received a superior rating at the Ohio Music Education Association large group contest earlier this month. Tonight, this talented group of students will complete their final middle school performance with big band super hits. In this medley, you will hear three famous big band charts, Leapfrog, Stomping at the Savoy, and Woodchopper's Ball. Just try to keep your toe from tapping along with these dance band classics, the middle school eighth grade band. Okay, another set of art awards for 3D Art Level 1. Third place goes to Devin Croxton. Second place to Chris Stavarian. First place to Emily Mitchell. In honorable mention is DJ McDonald, Bruno Patterson, Will Ginn, and Paige Judd. Next, we have the high school orchestra. They are under the direction of Laura Mitchell. This high school orchestra has had a really wonderful year. On May 6th, they received a superior rating 
at the Kings Island Trills and Thrills Festival. And in February, they competed at the Ohio Music Education Association State Orchestra Contest, receiving a superior rating. This is the high school orchestra department's sixth superior rating in a row. Their selection tonight is the Bohemian Rhapsody, made famous by Queen. And recently, Panic at the Disco covered this for the movie soundtrack, Suicide Squad. Tonight, we will have Marshall Verbsky featured on the piano, Lindsay Stevenson, percussion, Hunter Karg, electric bass, Emily Kirby, electric violin, and Eric LaRock on electric guitar, the high school orchestra.
Next, we'll have the high school combined concert and symphonic choir. And as the symphonic choir is getting set up, I'd like to mention that at the end of April, they performed at state contest and received a superior rating, making it their third state superior in a row. Congratulations to the choir. Early tomorrow morning, 48 of these members are headed to Nashville to perform at various iconic sites, record an album, and tour Music City. That's like way cool. Tonight, they will share with you Disney's Fly Medley, made famous by the group Voctive and featuring some of our favorite Disney tunes. They will close combining with the concert choir to share Sing by Pentatonix accompanied by Hunter Karg, Derek Robb, and Leslie Steiner with soloist Shelby Rainey, Katie Chervenek, Angel Benfett, and Casey Middaw, and directed by Stacy Calton. Please tune in to the Bell Fountain High School Choirs.
for your mama, eh. Sing it for your papa, eh. Sing it for the whole world, for the boy or girl, for your number one fan. KO on the beat, okay? I'm a human, A O A. Go ahead, go and sing it, don't talk, cause the beat don't stop, no, wait, wait, wait. Our final visual arts award for this evening include Principal's Choice Award to Brandy Hammond, Superintendent's Choice Award to Bailey Asman, and the Outstanding Senior Arts Student, Abby Godwin. Is Abby in here? Well, congratulations to her because she was selected for the Ohio Governor's Youth Art Exhibition. Her artwork was selected for more than 11,000 pieces submitted for regional judging from high schools across the state. It is currently on display at the Rhodes Tower in Columbus. You can see a picture of it among all the art displays in the atrium this evening. Congratulations to Abby and all the visual arts winners. Michael, where are you? Okay, well, there it is. Next, we have the high school bands. This past fall, the BHS Pride of the Tribe marching band earned a superior rating at the Ohio Music Education Association State Marching Band Contest for only the fourth time in school history. The Symphonic Band also performed this past April at the OMBA State Band Adjudicated Event and earned an excellent rating. Please congratulate all these band students for their efforts. And now I have a Mr. Carg commercial. And I think it's for you parents whose kids don't tell you anything. Upcoming band events include the band marathon this Friday, May the 19th, graduation ceremonies on Friday, May the 26th, and the Memorial Day Parade on Monday, May the 29th. Be there or be square. For their performance this evening, the combined high school bands under the direction of Jeremy Carg have selected highlights from Beauty and the Beast. Beauty and the Beast is a traditional French fairy tale first published in 1740. In 1991, Disney produced an animated film of Beauty and the Beast. It won Academy Awards for Best Song and Best Original Score. I'm sure many of you have seen the recently released movie of Beauty and the Beast. Please welcome the high school bands.
We have a special thank you from the Music Boosters. The Music Boosters would like to thank everyone for their support this past year with the various fundraisers. Your efforts and support were greatly appreciated. All the money generated through our fundraising goes back into the music department. The Music Boosters meet mon monthly throughout the school year. We invite you to come and learn more about our Boosters Club. And you all should give that a try. To close this evening's program, all choirs combined by the, with the symphonic band will present a traditional patriotic selection. The Battle Hymn of the Republic was written by American writer Julia Ward Howe using the music from the song John Brown's Body. The words you will hear tonight were written in 1861. And I personally love how the power of music connects us with people now to those people who have gone centuries before us. Under the direction of Stacy Calton and Jeremy Carg, the choral department joins with the symphonic band to perform Bell Fountain's traditional rendition of the Battle Hymn of the Republic.
Okay, we have one last request. Before you leave tonight, we would like to have some of the adults help us move chairs, stands, and all this stuff off the gym floor. That would, your help would be greatly appreciated. Thank you for coming. Thank you for supporting Belf Fountain City Schools. Have a safe trip home, and you are dismissed.